people invested 300 billion in the ai startup anthropic it's like a normal news until you scroll down where this says anthropic was formed in 2021 when a group of researchers led by dario mudai left open ai so a bunch of people who left open ai the parent company of chat gpt formed anthropic in which google very recently invested hey guys welcome to this channel what i'm going to talk about now is probably going to blow your mind and it's probably going to give nightmare to open ai so today sundar pichai who's the ceo of google announced that they are going to be coming up soon with bard a new experimental conversational google ai provided by lambda now this isn't the only announcement so if you look at what's been happening through the last few days right after chat gpt came out sundar pichai who's the ceo of google again announced code red to ensure or to ramp up company initiatives to build uh you know generative ai capabilities now if i look at the recent pattern of events right so google ceo promises new ai so in a recent investor meeting revenue or earnings call google ceo promises new ai features are coming to search very soon amid competition from chat gpt and this was on 2nd feb 2023 the company said it's restructuring its artificial intelligence into google taking it out of other bets the ai came as company reported its fourth consecutive you know quarter in which earnings and revenue fell shy of analysts estimates google obviously doesn't want to fall back in the race itself so uh, after this announcement you'd see that google invested 300 billion in the ai startup anthropic um, and this isn't you know this seems like a normal news or a very usual investment until you scroll down a bit here where this says anthropic was formed in 2021 when a group of researchers led by dario amudai left open ai so a bunch of people who left open ai the parent company of chat gpt formed anthropic in which google very recently invested google is going all in in ai and specifically uh in the booming field of generative ai now after all that this announcement came today um which is 6th february that in 2021 we shared next gen language conversation capabilities powered by a language model for dialogue applications lambda coming soon bard and the announcement of bard effectively happened with the link uh, which i'm going to walk you through real cool, real soon but in the meantime let's just look at the announcement itself so the goal of bard is to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge if you if you use chat gpt right you know the biggest fallback of chat gpt is the fact that uh, it is not updated right the information that the model gives you is only updated till 2021 so it if you ask something recent it's likely to uh, you know give error you know answers that are not aligned with the most latest news so this is scary when i say draws on information from web to provide fresh high quality res- responses today we are opening bar up to trusted external testers so google's uh, you know chatbot or chat engine is going to be you know not only from the perspective of it being updated in the previous data so it will obviously know what had happened in the past but it will be also updated to uh, look at what's currently happening out there right which is both uh, mind blowing and scary we'll combine their feedback with our own internal testing to make sure bars responses meet our high quality bar for safety ground and and make them widely available in the coming weeks it's early we will launch iterate and make it better as people turn to google for deeper insights and understanding ai can help us get to the heart of what they're looking for so the idea is that you know people may not look for long form content in the future and ai will help them to get to answers faster we're starting with ai powered features in search that distill complex info into easy to digest format so the search engine right where what happens a lot of time you'll search for a blog blog will give you some information you'll run around and look for content pieces that give you most accurate information this bard when is integrated in google will give you the summary of what you're trying to look so the whole idea of you even going to chat gpt is destroyed right here because now it is easier for you to merely just ask that question on google and google will throw out a similar answer for you developers can soon try our, you know generative language api initially powered by lambda which is the internal model of google why which a lot of these current uh you know models like gpt3 have learned and evolved over time 
over time our goal is to make a create set of tools and apis that will make it easy for others to build and more innovative applications with ai so this was the announcement announcement now let's uh, you know deep dive a bit on the document that was shared by the uh, ceo himself ai is the most profound technology we're working on today and i'm i'm not going to go through the entire thing i'm just going to look at the important pieces and see if those matter matter to us right but one of the most important capabilities right now that as far as i can see is the fact that it's real time and it's crawling the internet and giving you answers based on what's most recent right whether it's helping doctors detect so it's talking about how google has always been in the forefront of technology and it has used um, you know the technology for the good of human humans right so since we've continued to make investment in ai across the board and google is advancing in the state of art today scale of the largest ai competition is doubling every 6 months far out pacing the moose law at the same time advanced generative ai are capturing the imaginations of people around the world which is true this chat gpt uh, came in and you know it went viral right so from that standpoint in fact our transformer research project and our field defining paper as well as our important advanced diffusion models are now the basis of many of these generative ai applications so a lot of what is you know happening today uh, with stable diffusion with gpt3 was first started by google so google was at the forefront uh, the transformer research itself by google is what led to formation of all of these models today it's really exciting time to be working on these technologies as we tra- trans but seeks to combine so this is yet another statement that we've le- you know read before but let's just look at what it says what seeks to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power intelligence and creativity of our lang- large language models it draws information from the web to provide fresh high quality responses so again this is a very very high level on how this looks effectively you can use what to plan the <laughs> baby shower so what new discoveries from the james webb telescope a nine year old about so effectively it's showcasing how easy it is to now summarize uh, your search per se quick history on what has happened so far our newest technologies and i've reviewed some of this right so imagine music lm so imagine is text to video while music lm is uh, text to audio lambda seems text to text i'm not sure what palm is i'm going to go ahead and quickly read about it as well so one of the most exciting opportunities in deep in our understanding of information turn since so again a lot of this right as as long as i see i can see right now google is looking to integrate uh, bard not only in the google search but also make it open ended for people to come and play around with the product itself now let's talk about uh, how to access bard right so uh, bard will be accessible from this ai test kitchen by google where you can go ahead and register your interest to a place to improve all technology together learn about google experience feedback on google and emerging so this seems like a research place of google itself now this is where you can learn a bit about bard and we'll look at these things right so first let's just quickly what are generative language models produce text about anything they don't do this by recognizing patterns in language and predicting what comes next this is how our model lambda which is language model for dialogue application is able to converse on any topic what are the challenges the ability of these models to generate infinite possibilities shows potential but it also means they don't always get quite things quite right and while we've made substantial improvements in safety and security or sorry safety and accuracy it is related was no longer still the beginning of the journey how do we make to progress together etc okay now there are first uh, you know there are three major things that google is talking about that you can do with lambda right now lambda is again the base model uh, that will be using you know using bart lambda primarily um, is a lightweight model and requires lower computing which is also what uh, the announcement talks about so let's see what things it can do right so what you can do name a place and lambda will offer paths to explore your imagination what you can give feedback on if lambda generates interesting scene descriptions that are relevant to your idea so let's look at what it does right real quick say is imagine i'm at the deepest part of the ocean there on the bottom of the sea so you can see it's similar to chat gpt but it talks about how creative lambda is with respect to the answer itself 
So let's look at it from the start, right? I'm at the deep, deepest part of the ocean. You're on the bottom of the sea. There's a giant sea snake swimming right over your head. It's a morel. It looks like it's waving at you. So now, can I see any other creatures? You can see a giant glowing jellyfish all around you. Feel like surrounded by the most beautiful. So you can see that how it sparks the imagination in your head, right? Primarily taking very little context from you and playing with you, playing along with you on what needs to be done next. So list it is what you can do. Name a goal or a topic and see how much Lambda can break it down into multiple lists of subtasks. Okay. So this, okay. Cool. Let's just see what it can do, right? Let's just wait for this graphic to restart. Okay. I want to start a veggie garden. Okay. So effectively it's saying that this is what I want to achieve. And this is the breakdown of steps that it wants to do first, second, and it's also prioritized, right? And when you click on either of these steps, you can see that it gives you a detailed expansion on what needs to be done there. So the you you might have searched Google for a lot of these questions, right? How to become, say, a product manager or how to break into a technical field. This can help you break things down in subtasks and then you know, further expanding on the subtext, help you understand what you need to achieve and how you need to achieve it. So it's pretty powerful, primarily uh, given the fact it's latest. So if there is new emerging technology coming into picture um, and you want to understand how it works, etc., etc., I think this is the direction that Google is moving into with this demo itself. Talk about it, Docs Edition. Roll with the conversation and see where it goes. Just kind of fun, open, weird, and retired. Come up with a dog band name. How about the zoomies? I think that's a pretty neat, neat name for a dog band. What do you think of dogs get zoomies? I think it's because they're so excited. So you can see where it's going, right? Effectively what it wants, what Google wants you to understand is the fact that it's very creative, uh, especially it's not talking about any of the things that you may have maybe doing with ChatGPT right now, right? So for example, writing blogs, writing emails, it's just telling you how you can ask things that are not tasks, but you can imagine uh, things per se, right? So um, obviously you can go ahead and learn more about how Lambda works and you look at behind the scenes and then FAQ, et cetera, et cetera. You can also sign here. So if you want to access, you want to gain ex access to uh, the AI kitchen per se, which is the, you know, early access for Lambda or BART, you can go ahead and sign this form up. Uh, I don't know how long it would take, but it's currently limited to the number of people they've granted access. So you can go ahead and fill the form up. And uh, I think at some point when it's your turn, you will get an email from Google and you'll be able to access Lambda to test whatever you want to test, right? So, and I think this is effectively uh, going to be it for the video itself. I hope this video adds value to you. If yes, consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like on this video, share this across with a friend and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much guys.